Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to review a book called The Modern Breakup by Daniel Chidiak. As the name as the title suggests, the book is about relationships, breakups and feelings. Um, most of the book focuses on the feelings aspects of the relationships. Um, the author Daniel Chidiak is from Melbourne, Australia. He's a full-time author and he has authored two other books. Uh, the book revolves around very limited characters. The name of the protagonist is um, Amelia. She has recently had a breakup and her uh, friend Zara has persuaded her to come with her on a vacation to uh, New York. Now they're in a bar in New York and Zara notices a hot guy who is with one of his friends. At first this uh, guy called Nick and Zara has a verbal altercation uh, which uh, goes to the extent of them insulting each other. But then they, uh, you know, uh, get along with each other and get to know each other and then they meet again, uh, all of these four people. And uh, uh, they kick it off. Before uh, that ha uh, happens in the book, they, the book goes five weeks back when um, Amelia had her breakup. Uh, the thing with this book is that uh, uh, it is a very readable read if you are a kind of a person who likes to read about feelings in the books. The feelings of these characters have been expressed very beautifully and uh, you, you, you feel that you are feeling the same thing uh, while you are reading it. Uh, but the book is more about feelings and very little about uh, the story of these characters. You don't get to know the characters very intimately, there is zero character development. The book talks about how Amelia and Zara and Jordan, who is Nick's friend, try to um, know each other. It is through uh, them the author dives into the complexities of relationships and feelings which makes it a very good read which might even help you understand your relationships and feelings better. Now I'll be reading some of the quotes from the book. Uh, you know they say that rudeness is a sign of insecurities. The rudest people are the most emotionally unstable. You know to love the wrong person or to be obsessed with someone can be like a drug. Having a bit of it feels good at the time, but it's not good for you. They say if addicts just get over the hurdle with no drugs, they won't want it anymore. It's the same as this, you gotta cut the snake off at the head. Having absolutely no contact is the best thing for you. You really need to give it time to fade. If you can't act like yourself with someone you are seeing, then who can you with? We are all making each other vulnerable. We are all scared to look too interested. We don't want to scare people off, but by tiptoeing around, we aren't being ourselves and that's always a recipe for disaster. Then again, sometimes I feel like we are all hypocrites in the dating world. Closure comes from knowing ourselves, knowing our worth, and finally realizing what we deserve. It's seeing the other person for who they really are, not who we have made them out to be in our head. Next time, don't sacrifice the person you are to suit somebody else's insecurities, jealousy or lack of love and stop letting your happiness be solely dependent on someone else's mood. I don't want to see them as less desirable because they are giving me attention. That's what's real. That's when you can lie in bed with someone and feel safe, secure and be delight with them. No matter how attractive a person's potential may be, you have to date their reality. A big reflection of someone's character is how they treat you when you are vulnerable. It's so easy to hate, but that isn't going to heal you properly. It can actually keep torturing you. Some people hold on to this poison forever and it affects everything they do in their life. It turns them into people they despise. Everyone is on their best behavior when you first meet. They are trying to impress you. That's why you should give it time. See how things play out. And the last one. Sometimes in life, there is no way out. But there is always a way through. So this was my book review for uh, The Modern Breakup by Daniel Chediak. I think this book is um, an average read for a person who wants to understand a little more about feelings and relationships. Uh, I came across this book uh, through an ad on Instagram and when I saw the profile of this book, this book was really famous. There's around 
400k followers today but at that time when I read it some months ago it was quite famous it was quite hyped but it has not you know stood up to my expectations but it's a good read if you want to understand feelings a lot better uh, this book focuses on the feelings aspect of the relationship more how we feel and you know how, why we do the things that we do um, in a re in a relationship or while dating so thank you very much for watching i'll be back next sunday with a new video till then take care stay safe